Paychecks for winning a race in NASCAR are relatively small. Sure, winning the Daytona 500 can net a drive over 1 million, but a normal race might score you less than 100,000, and that's only if you win. If you finish in the back of the pack, you could make under $10,000, which doesn't go very far when you consider expenses. So how are drivers affording mansions that cost $4 million, $16 million, or even $30 million? And who has NASCAR's most expensive home? I'm Addison Hager, and today we'll look inside the most expensive mega mansions, including one that features an 8,700-foot square aquarium and another one that looks like a pirate ship. At number 10 is Denny Hamlin's home in Lake Norman, North Carolina. It's 30,000 square feet of luxury. In fact, the whole place feels like a man cave with a pool table, luxury bowling alley, trophy room, indoor basketball court, and an infinity pool that overlooks the water. Hamlin's house would likely shoot up this list if he decided to sell. The purchase price was $1.375 million, but that was before all his additions and improvements. In 2022, the driver of the 11 car earned over $13 million. A NASCAR Hall of Fame driver once owned the number 9 house. This 5,700 square foot home on Lake Norman boasts something of a chef's kitchen, as well as a formal dining room that overlooks the lake. There's also a four-car garage that is air-conditioned and a private pavement dock. We have just a few pictures of Mark Martin's $2.55 million mansion. He bought it in 2013 for $2 million, but sold it three years later. Thumbs up this video if you love seeing that the legends are still doing very well. In 2020, Kevin Harvick made over $10 million in won two races, snapping a 65-week winless streak. But like all NASCAR drivers, sponsors are what paid his bills. It's not a secret that the sport is very sponsor-friendly, and you can see here. So did Budweiser pay for his $3.5 million home? It kind of did. He put the 12,000 square foot mansion in Oak Ridge on the market in 2014 when he was driving that red race car. There are five bedrooms, six full bathrooms, a wet bar, fireplace, barbecue, and garden. Plus, it looks like a European castle. He's number eight on our list this year, but maybe he'll make a move soon. Harvick is going to retire at the end of the 2023 season. Believe it or not, Dell Earnhardt Jr. sits at number seven on our list of NASCAR's most expensive mansions, although we suspect he's had some real estate transactions we don't know about. This Key West mansion is known as the Pirate Home. You'll see why as I scroll through these pictures. Earnhardt made it a hobby to restore Key West houses and even once had a show on the DIY network called Renovation Realities, Dale Jr. and Amy. This home is 3,300 square feet with five bedrooms and four baths. He added pirate and nautical themes as a nod to the island's private history. There are rope wrapped columns, a ship wheel on the side of the large wraparound bar, and parrots in the rafters. There's even a secret hatch. Earnhardt and his wife put this home on sale for $3.7 million. In just a moment, we're going to jump from the mega mansions to the oh my gosh wow mansions, but the last starter home on our list is this home that Kurt Busch once owned in Morrisville, North Carolina. It also sits on Lake Norman and measures 9,500 square feet, four bedrooms, and five and a half bathrooms. Bush, who made $7.5 million in 2022, fills his garage with race cars, including a one-of-the-kind 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. All of his trophies go in his office, but maybe he needs more room for them. Several years ago, he listed the house for $3.95 million. At number five, Kyle Busch is selling his mansion for a whopping $13 million. For Realtor.com, this mansion is seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 15,000 square feet. It sits also on Lake Norman in Denver, North Carolina. We've got lots of homes on Lake Norman, and this one is too. It's situated behind private gates and a fence on just under 1.4 acres inside the extremely upscaled gated community of Norman Estates. The home features vaulted high ceilings throughout, and every room has the highest end finishes, and the kitchen alone underwent a million dollar renovation. We're just over halfway through, so think now is a good time to encourage you to subscribe if you like houses of the rich and famous. It's kind of our bread and butter over here at Taste of Country, and we dish out content like this often. At number four, we have Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s home. It's worth $16 million. According to Dirt.com, the home is 9,986 square feet. It has five bedrooms and eight bathrooms. 
This home has also been owned by others in the NASCAR family, like legend Ernie Irvin and Joe Nimheck. Some of the home's features include a pool and a spa with a cabana to relax in, putting green, gym, three-acre pond, guest quarters, and two separate garages with room for up to eight, yes, I said eight, vehicles. Oh, and how could I forget the 18 European-style horse stalls? Buckle up, because these last three rise heavily in price. Former driver Danica Patrick's home is a casual $28 million. She bought it with her boyfriend at the time, football star Aaron Rodgers. It's not clear if Danica still lives there, but the couple purchased the home in 2019. This Malibu estate is three stories, and I have to say, doesn't have a bad view anywhere. Personally, this is one of my favorites. It sits on 0.6 acres and even has a detached guest house and garage. It's a cook's dream with a gourmet kitchen, media room, tall ceilings, and who needs a pool when you have the ocean, right? <laughs> okay, well, if you're paying $28 million, you've got a pool too. Patrick's victory over the 2008 Indy Japan 300 is the only win by a woman in an Indy car series race. Let's head over to New York City to check out Jeff Gordon's $30 million home at number two. Get this, it only stayed on the market for two months before he sold it in 2013. But this is the best part. According to Insider.com, Gordon bought it for $9.67 million in 2007. Yes, if you're doing the math, it essentially tripled in value. I can see why it's so pricey. This three-bedroom home has Brazilian cherry floors and gorgeous views of Central Park. The master suite alone takes up 743 square feet of the 3,454 square foot home. This isn't quite the size of the place I was looking at when I thought I was moving to New York City. The kitchen has Italian ceramic floors, a sub-zero refrigerator, and a wine cooler. You've got a soaking tub, impressive lighting, and window treatments, and of course, a stunning view. This isn't the only home he owned in New York City. This condo hit the market in 2013, listing at 12.9 million, coming with some pretty swanky neighbors like Chelsea Clinton and even Jennifer Lopez once lived in the building. It's a second floor unit with four bedrooms, five full bathrooms, and a powder room, open chef's kitchen that leads to living, dining, and lounging areas, and floor to ceiling windows overlooking Madison Square. Last, but certainly not least, at number one in rural Indiana, you'll find this $30 million lodge. NASCAR Hall of Famer Tony Stewart put his home on the market in 2022. That price tag makes it the most expensive residence in the state of Indiana. It's got quite the mix of luxury and rustic, kind of makes you feel like you walked into Bass Pro Shop. It's six bedroom, 9.5 bathrooms, 19,714 square feet, sitting on 415 acres of woods with a nine acre stocked lake. You've got a two story waterfall and trout stream in the entry hall, an outdoor lover's dream, and a massive great room that also boasts an 8,700 gallon freshwater aquarium. The entire massive residence is built out on lodgepole pine from the Northern Rockies with the highest end finishes throughout the property. So now that you've seen them all, which one was your favorite? Comment below, and before you go, give this video a thumbs up if these homes made your mouth drop. I'm Addison Haker for Taste of Country, thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.